insider's tip of how to do confetti stitches, which is all of these tiny different colors mixed together, without going crazy. <laughs> so what I do is I always have my patterns as PDFs so that I can zoom in on them, uh, my eyes don't go buggy trying to read these patterns, and uh, what I'll actually do, even with this pattern that is, I, is from a book that I purchased, I typed it into PC Stitch, which is some pattern software, so that I have control to do this, which is make a, a filter, basically, where right now I'm working on color 318, which down here is these dark gray circles. Uh, I could stitch this by eye and counting and trying to figure out, okay, it's, it's a f you know five away from the other one and up one, but that just takes a long time and I'm all about doing this as efficiently as possible. Uh, it's supposed to be relaxing, not frustrating. So what I do is I put this filter on in PC Stitch that highlights just a certain color. So this is the same pattern with only showing me these uh, gray circle dots over here. And uh, this would be kind of the exact lineup so you can see how it matches. There's the two that are next to each other, here's two that are kind of spaced out, two that are one apart. So what I'll do, I'll have these two pulled up next to each other so I can use the main pattern, use reference like, okay, so here's these three white ones in a triangle, it's just past that. But then over here, I can be really sure that I've uh, not missed anything. And what I actually do is I put the annotation kind of pencil on here so I can just cross off once I've actually stitched them. And then I never have to worry about oh, did I do that one? And, you know, going back and double checking, it's really fast for me to just stitch a few, make a little mark on here, and then I know in one pass, I can zoom out on here and tell I've covered everything. Actually, I still have, you know, this much left, but I can be confident that I didn't miss any squares. Whereas if I was just looking at the full pattern, I would have no confidence that I got every one of these gray circles done. So that's just an insider tip, how I handle it, and don't go crazy stitching confetti stitches.